This is Emmett. He is a seven month old Doberman Pinscher. Seven months is about the age that we usually are planning neutering or spaying. And so there's a couple things I need to tell Jen, his owner, uh, about that surgery and things that she needs to be making decisions about um, before that surgery. So there's two main diseases that I have to worry about with a Doberman of this age. The first one is von Willebrandt's disease. Uh, that's a disease that was discovered by a doctor named von Willebrandt many years ago in humans. And what it is is a, a coagulation so um, it causes a dog or a person to, to have hemophilia where they can bleed to death from even the smallest little cut or wound. They certainly can have abnormal bleeding from a surgery or for a dental extraction. The body makes about a dozen different proteins um, that are responsible for causing the blood to clot when there's an injury. Um, and if any one of those, they call them clotting factors, if any one of those factors is missing or there's not enough, the blood's not going to clot, right? So um, there's a whole lot of other breeds of dogs that also have risk for coagulopathies. So for Dobermans, we have a DNA test that we can do to see if they have that gene um, so that we can test them before we do surgery on them um, and know for sure whether we're going to have a problem. Well over half of Dobermans carry at least one copy of the gene for von Willebrands. It's extremely common, but they need two copies of that gene, one from each parent, uh, to actually have problems with bleeding. And about 17% of Dobermans um, have that risk then for bleeding. I don't always have the opportunity to do that DNA test before surgery. It takes me several weeks to get the results back. So a lot of times what we do instead is a simple little test called a buccal bleeding time. We anesthetize the dog, make a little nick in its lip and time how many minutes it takes for the blood to clot from that tiny little nick. And if they bleed excessively, then we can wake them up, stop, let's not do the surgery, we need to address this problem first. So for a lot of breeds, we don't have a DNA test, so the only way we have to test to see if they're going to have abnormal bleeding is to actually make them bleed a little bit and see what happens. The other major decision that Jen will have to make is whether she wants Emmett's stomach tacked. So Dobermans have a narrow chest but a deep chest, and that's the confirmation that puts them at risk to have GDV or bloat. So the stomach is not attached quite the same in a dog with a deep chest. It can blow up with gas, twist on itself, um, and become a major problem. When we have him under anesthesia for neuter, and it's especially easy for a spay when we have to make an abdominal incision, we can actually tack that stomach to the inside of the body wall so that it can never flip over and cause them to bloat. And so Jen's going to have to make a decision whether she wants to spend a few hundred extra dollars to have his stomach tacked in order to maybe save herself thousands of dollars and a major surgery or even death later in Emmett's life. So she needs to decide on the DNA test for von Willebrands versus just a buckle bleeding time and she needs to decide whether she's going to go ahead and have stomach tacking done.